Yes, George. You told me you wanted to talk to me about your project. Yes, teacher. I think I will not be able to present my project. I'm sorry. But why is that? You have been doing an excellent job. Do you need more time? No, teacher. I just can't make it. I'm not going to present it. I'm really sorry. I see. All right, don't worry. But you will have to get a good score in your exam. I'm not going to take my exam either, teacher. I can no longer continue studying English. What? Why? Is it too difficult? You have improved a lot, George. Don't give up. It's not about that. I don't have enough money to continue studying English. I will also have to get a new job to help my parents. Thanks for everything, teacher. Hey, wait. But you can continue studying English by yourself, George. Yes, we have talked about that before. And I'm going to do that. But there is a big problem. How am I going to evaluate myself? How am I going to check my progress? I can't. Of course you can. I'm going to tell you how to evaluate yourself when learning English. Seriously? Awesome! Help me, please. Help me, teacher. All right. Pay attention. Nowadays, there are many ways to evaluate yourself. For example, you can take tests frequently. If you are a new learner or an expert, you need to do a self-evaluation. Test yourself on a daily basis or weekly, but do it consistently. You can simply evaluate yourself by doing a short exercise related to your skill. Or Google about your topic and answer the most frequently asked questions. For example, if you want to practice present simple, you can Google that topic. There are a lot of exercises online you can practice with, also on YouTube. But search that specific topic, for example, present simple test or present simple exam or present simple listening practice or conversation practice. It will all depend on what skill you want to practice and evaluate. I also search that information for my classes. Another thing you can do to evaluate yourself is track your study habits. I'll explain it to you. Likewise, our diverse personalities, we have distinct learning styles. We've talked about that. If we fail in any assessment, what is the next action we take? Do you know? Most of us make plans to study hard for the next time. This time try to learn differently. Changing your study habit can have a noticeable impact on your grades. Study smart, not hard. What I mean is, if you memorize 10 words in one day and it's not working, then change that. Maybe change the number of words to memorize or the time. I hope you get it. 
Yes, teacher, I get it. For example, I had set out to learn at least one new phrase a day. That's great. Then at the end of the day, you will know how much you learned. Another thing you can do to evaluate yourself. Oh, I know. Take online exams. The pandemic has made all of us used to online learning, even in our English classes. This e-learning opens us to many new ways to learn and test our English. It's amazing. Use Google to find sites that are creating online self-assessments for learners. Answer all the questions. Check your score and get your performance evaluation sheet. You will have an idea of where you need to work more. There are a lot of online placement exams or exams according to your level of English. You just need to take your time to search that. Oh, and once you know what topic to work, practice and then take that exam again later or a similar one in order to know if you've improved. Also, give yourself an assessment. You watched a video or read a blog to learn something. Then come out of the learning phase and evaluate your performance. Try to complete the task you learned about lastly, without any help. If you pass the test, congrats. But if you fail, highlight the points which tend you to lose the game. What I mean is, right after you've learned a new topic, search for a test about that topic. It can be a game. It will help you memorize and practice about that new topic. It helps a lot, believe me. Well, I think this is something I always say to my students, but it's because it really works. If you want to evaluate yourself and learn in a better way, then explain your learning to others. Teaching others what you have learned can actually be difficult, but it is the real test. You can answer the questions on the internet relevant to your topic. Help others. Hundreds of questions are asked every second. If you have someone in your social circle, it is even better. Help them if they are stuck on any question. Explain to them the topic they don't understand. While teaching others, you will also understand and memorize the concept better. This is something most of the students don't understand. But it really works. Seriously. Some of them say, no, I don't like teaching. Yeah, okay, but you don't have to be an expert. The idea is to help others. And in that way, you will help yourself too. It's amazing. Oh, and last but not least, for the love of God. Give yourself a break from time to time. What I mean is, do not get disheartened if you fail while evaluating your performance. Rather, give yourself a break. Okay, maybe you are passionate about learning. But your mind needs rest. Do not be hard on yourself to become an expert in a few days. Remember that the learning process is going to take some time. Remember that. 
keep away from the learning material when you feel you're not getting that topic. Have an interval of at least 12 hours and then start learning with a fresh mind. I remember when I started learning English, I learned new words and I felt really good. But then with the time, it all became more and more difficult. I got frustrated. When I was in advanced level, I took an online English exam and I got intermediate level. I felt terrible, but I also realized I had to learn more things. It was a challenge for me. I think that's the most difficult part of learning English by yourself or evaluate yourself. Motivation. Because here in the Institute, you have me telling you what to do every day. But when you learn English by yourself, then it all depends on you. Do you understand? Totally. I really want to speak English, so I will do everything you said. And teacher, can I come here sometime so you can help me with some questions? Of course. If you have any question, recommendation, or maybe you just want to share your experience, feel free to do it on the comments. I always read all the comments you write. I hope you can speak English soon, and please don't give up. I trust you. Thanks, teacher. I won't give up. Thank you so much for your help. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.